So in this video, I will share with you on how I install the V-Moto V6 onto my helmet. Hi riders, okay YouTubers, thank you for coming back to my channel, thank you for coming back to watch this installation video for the V-Moto V6. First things first, disclaimer, I am not paid by V-Moto or any of the counterparts or any of the bike shops which sells V-Moto products. Okay, um, this is my own video and my sharing of the V-Moto V6 through my experience since my first purchase of the equipment itself in April 2017 if I were to say 2018 that one is already in the future kan so 2017 April I bought it I used it and this is my video which is almost a year of using the V-Moto V6 okay so first things first or second already first already jalan now second okay i need you need to have the things on standby okay you don't need uh, all the equipment itself or whatever is applied inside the package uh, you need the round stickies okay the one that has the velcro okay do this get the speakers out get the dock out when you get the speakers out the dock is of course out because the thing is connected to the dock Okay, so get the dock out together with the speakers, get the round stickies and stick it onto the back of the speakers itself and the other side of the stickies, stick it to the point whereby your helmet, that ring thingy or your helmet strap thingy which is somewhere around here, stick it there, alright, sweet sweet, nice nice in the center so that it fits over to your helmet okay but <clears throat> first things the next thing is that you need to decide where you want to put your dock okay you want to have it permanent onto your helmet which actually is not not an issue because once the glue comes off or whatsoever or you can use a heat gun to actually dry up the glue and get the thing off your helmet so my advice use a super glue don't use the stickies that is provided tak guna no use use a super glue stick it permanent onto your helmet don't use the clip okay use a super glue stick it permanent onto your helmet stick the dock there fix your so called speakers now the wiring for the speakers itself uh, you need to take out or unclip both your cushions your side cushions and the rear okay how you going to run the wires inside is actually on top of the rear cushion so once you open up your rear cushion right find the point whereby the two clips which is behind or some of the helmets have only one clip okay run the wire above the clip not below above the clip then run the wire to the side now the speakers and the dock itself is a Y joint or sort of like a Y joint so what you need to do is to open your side cushions and the rear cushion right stick your dock as I mentioned earlier you decide whether you want to make it permanent or you still want to degale want to use the sticker up to you okay so stick it permanent or whatsoever is up to you then after that extend the wire behind underneath the helmet underneath the cushion for the rear cushion put the wires above the clips and you clip your right and left speakers put it somewhere central whereby your straps for your helmet is there all right the beginning of your straps for your helmet is there stick it there and that's it or what you can do is that once you already fix the rear the rear wiring already done behind clip the cushion take both of your side cushions fix it on 
So agak agak where's the speaker going to be? Stick it there. So at least when you are using or when you are wearing your helmet, the speaker is just nice, not touching your ear. Okay, you have an option to use this upgraded pads, which is not advisable. Okay, speakers too near, it will cause you to be deaf for sure because the speakers are loud. Okay, not advisable to use this, but it's up to you. It can be uncomfortable if it's already closing to your ear. Okay, it's uncomfortable, trust me. So, but I leave it to you. You want to use this cushion or this added pads or something like thingy, it's up to you. Okay, but I'm not using it. As you can see, it's out of my helmet for sure. So, that's done. Clip. Campak one corner if you're not using it. Mufflers. Now, fix your speakers first, then your mic. Once you have fixed your speakers, you can focus more on to fixing your mic. Now, you take your mic, your stick mic, okay? First, you wear your helmet, take your stick mic. Because it's just a, a, a so-called plastic thingy with a sticky on it. So put it underneath your cushion, estimate where you want it to be. Because once you fix the thing, what I would advise is to follow your chin. Okay, where your chin is moving, you put the mic around there so that you can adjust just nice to your mouth. Okay, so once you've done that, you estimate you can actually take off the sticky, the, the cover of the sticky estimate and you quickly just stick it there. Hold it there, take it off, take off your helmet and let it dry. Okay, it's not, it's not actually a super glue but I would advise just to let it dry. Uh, or you can just press it on or use the pressure from your cushion to actually uh, hold the mic in place. So if you are not using the mic, bring it up. If you are using the mic, bring it down. So you can do either way. Um, okay, for the plug wise, uh, as you can see, there is two plugs here. One, one is in front, one is behind. Behind is behind mic is actually for the MP3 player. The front one, the front port is actually for the mic. So take the plug. Plug it in. Done. Okay, so once you've done that, you can start doing the pairing. Or while you're actually fixing, while you're actually fixing the, the speakers onto your helmet and the mic, okay, you can actually start charging the uh, Bluetooth itself. Okay, once you're done with the helmet, you can now start to pair your Bluetooth uh, piece. Now, uh, once you already have your Bluetooth turned on on your handphone, first you need to turn on the Bluetooth piece. Front button first, second button behind. It should be turned on right now, blinking. Yep, it's blinking. So for you to pair this thing to your handphone, alright, uh, so far I've used two handphones onto one Bluetooth. Okay, how you're gonna pair it itself? Just press and hold until you see the light red and blue. Sorry, I got to see it myself. Okay, now you see it's red and blue. Your handphone will start searching. Okay, it will come out V Moto V6 on your handphone Bluetooth, and from there you just click on the V Moto V6, connect, and you are done. Okay, so once you already pack them up, have this thing onto your helmet dock so what you need to do is just to get this thing sit on top there's a groove at these two points and there's a groove here if you can see all right fit the two into the groove i hope you can hear my voice right now because my mic is actually covering the laugh mic okay on top, there's a clip. Slide it down. Okay, that will 
hold the V motor in place. Okay, after that you just turn it on. First button front, second button behind, and your set is turned on already. If you are wearing your helmet and you turn on the Bluetooth headset while you are wearing your helmet, you will hear a voice prompt stating that Bluetooth turn on. How many? How many percent? Or Bluetooth turn on full power. This one is in my own words lah. But later when you fix your own, you know lah. Okay, so basically, you will hear the voice prompt, which means that your Bluetooth headset is already turned on. Next is to connect. Once you done your pairing correctly, you click the big button once. Your Bluetooth headset will auto pair together with the handphone which is nearby to you, provided the Bluetooth is on. If the Bluetooth is off, how to connect? Anyway, once it detects the Bluetooth connection, it will connect, all right, and you will hear phone one connected or something like that. Okay, which means that your handphone is already connected and you can start using. Okay, you can play your Bluetooth. You can use your Google Maps without even looking at your handphone. There will be prompts. Uh, voice prompts asking you to turn right or turn left or whatsoever but better if you're having the handphone holder onto your bike put your handphone there and you just listen to the instructions via the bluetooth headset but you look at the map to make sure where or to make sure that you are going in the correct direction so that is all for the installation it's just that simple Okay, be sure to have the muffler on. Okay, this will help to actually reduce the wind noise. Okay, then other than that, you're done. Fixing the Bluetooth V Moto V6 headset is just that simple. Okay, now if you want to have a sample of it, I'm not sure if my love mic is able to detect, but I try. Um, let's see if it can happen just a minute I try to turn on a music on my handphone here which is oh yes if you see on your handphone I'm not so sure if you can see when your bluetooth is turned on it will show a left and right arrow which means that both of your handphone and the bluetooth set is already turned on so that is just to confirm so now once it's already connected you can play your music you can play whatever you have on your handphone you can watch youtube while watching or while riding your bike which is not advisable uh, okay now i'm going to pick a video from youtube itself Okay, for you to listen on how loud the speaker would be, there is no uh, adjusting to the volume on the camera itself, right? This is just the volume on from the speaker of the Bluetooth headset. Okay, there's no what they call it digital. Digital, digitalizing digitalizing of the sound or uh, mixing of the sound or whatever they call it just to you know enhance the sound no okay what you are listening to now all right on this video is direct from the helmet itself okay now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to choose a video oh that's irritating now i'm going to choose a video from youtube Okay, I'm going to put it full blast on the helmet Bluetooth. I'm not so sure if you can listen. Now, let me skip the ad first. Okay, so for the next few minutes, I'm not going to speak. I'm going to shift this love mic into my helmet to allow you to hear what's going on inside.
So there you go. Uh, I'm not so sure because I'm recording this and I'm doing macam sotong like that. So I'm recording this and I'm putting the love mic into the helmet itself. Now I fix back the mic onto my baju. Wait ah. I'm not so sure whether you can hear. I myself also cannot hear from here because I'm recording the video. Alright. Uh, hopefully when I do the post production for the video itself. Alright. I'm able to detect and you guys can listen to how. Okay. You guys can listen to how the sound from the Bluetooth itself itself. Bluetooth headset itself up kubobal. Bluetooth headset itself. Okay, so uh, hopefully it's good, but it is definitely good for me. It's quite loud, and sometimes can be deafening if you are using or listening to Metallica. Not say actually Metallica, but heavy metal songs, which is high in pitch, low in bass. Right, that is what I would advise, and. If you wish to get this V Moto V6, right? This is the end of the video for the installation. You already tried, okay? Uh, you can hear roughly how the sound is from the Bluetooth headset. Okay, now if you want to get this V Moto V6 Bluetooth headset for yourself, lower cost from Carousel, you will get it at about ninety-eight dollars. I tried checking. There's a lot of uh, sellers selling at $98, all the same price, $98. But uh, you can actually get from the website that I've provided below. Right? I don't gain anything from this website, neither am I paid to promote this website. But I'm promoting it because um, I see that you can get the Vmoto V6 cheaper than $100, even cheaper than $90. Okay. I think so go check it out the link is provided below I don't get anything from the website itself there's no affiliate links there's no commission tied to okay this is to share with you barang baik kita share so, apologies if the video is a bit sometimes bright sometimes dark sometimes bright sometimes dark I'm not playing with the lights but the sun is actually moving not actually the sun is moving but the clouds are moving over the sun so Sometimes it's going to be bright, sometimes it's going to be dark. I can't see because I'm wearing these glasses and I keep on staring at the screen and not looking at the lens. I don't know why, but I guess it's human. Anyway, the reason why I'm promoting this uh, V-Moto V6 is because I've used it and it's almost a year that I've used it and there is no issue. And of course, some of my friends have also asked me as they wanted to get them, I mean get one for themselves and they found out from certain shops or certain brands are actually selling about 300 plus 200 plus it's quite expensive so this one i got it from caruso <coughs> not from this website from caruso at 98 dollars which i don't mind but of course if you want to go cheaper you can go to the website that i provided below i'm a member with uh, that website and there's a lot of things which you can order from that website plus disclaimer this is not a paid advertisement or am I paid by that website to actually promote? No. Okay, because I've been using this website and a lot of carousel, carousel sellers are actually getting their products from there. So this is a hint, 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 hint to you. If you want to get some products to sell on carousel, you can actually get it from there as well. And you can get the Vmoto V6 they're cheaper as well not so cheap but actually cheaper than $98 so hit the subscribe button hit the like button or the thumbs up if you find this uh, video informational useful helpful upper full don't kacang full and see you in the next video like safe Okay guys, uh, I don't know whether my mic is too close to me. Okay, I did do a check after recording that video. 
Uh, I think due to the connection wise, I did not put the so-called Bluetooth piece correctly onto the dock, so there wasn't any connection. So now I've already put it correctly into the dock and clip it on because it has to be clipped on uh, or locked on because there's a lock on top. Okay, uh, and did a test. So far it's good. So now I'm recording this video to show you again or to let you hear again how the sound from the speaker inside the helmet at full blast. Okay, so just hang on here. Right now my handphone is on a black screen. Hang on. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, one of the YouTube videos from Peter McKinnon. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the video. Okay, right now, I am quite far away from the video. I'm not so sure whether the video is actually active or not. Looks like active, but it's not moving. Okay, I try again. Just hang on. Ah, yes. Okay. Now the video is active. Alright, I'll bring the lavalier mic closer. I think uh, from afar, you might be able to listen to a bit of the sound. Because I turn on the speaker at full blast. So I'm going to bring the lavalier mic closer and into the helmet. And let you listen to the sound itself. something called color space. What is color space, Pete? That sounds confusing. Please enlighten me. I plan to. Let's throw two minutes on the clock. Let's go. I'll try not to go over this week. So let's start with the basic question. Okay, now I'm going to put the lavalier mic to the right, to my right hand side speaker. That means when I wear the helmet, the speaker is on the right hand side. Uh, much closer so that you can uh, hear to the sound itself which comes from the right speaker. That's a smaller color space than the other option which is called Adobe RGB. Adobe RGB is a larger color space which most people would think, hey I'm going to go with that one because it's going to give me more colors. However, it's primarily made for people who are doing lots of print work. So if your stuff's going in magazines... Okay, now I'm going to put on the left side speaker. Uh, left side speaker of the helmet or left side when I wear the helmet is on the left hand side that speaker itself into issues, which is what happened to me last week so I did some research to figure out why this happened and learned that you should be syncing your color space across the different apps that you're using and your camera so that your work looks consistent across the board so if you shoot a lot of media for the okay so there you go uh, the sound from center, left and right, how it sounds like when you are listening to music or even video from YouTube. Um, that's how you're going to be when you're wearing the helmet with the V-Moto V6 Bluetooth headset installed on to your helmet.